Hello there everybody and thanks for tuning in again for another video here on Armor of God. In this video, I would like to talk about St. Padre Pio again because I'm really learning about the amazing stories of Padre Pio and how he lived his life before and I really do hope that these videos will be helpful to you as well. Anyway, let's get on with it then. St. Padre Pio had the privilege of having his guardian angel visibly beside him all his life. He played with him when he was a child, and the guardian angel sang for him when he was sad. Padre Pio once said about the angels, The angels envy us for one thing only, they cannot suffer for God. When Padre Pio was a young friar, he wrote a letter to his confessor in which he said, When I close my eyes and the night comes, I can see the heaven that appears in front of me. I am encouraged by this vision so I can sleep with a sweet smile on the lips and with a perfect calm on the forehead waiting my small companion of my infancy came to wake up me and start praying together prayers to the beloved of our hearts. Padre Pio often recommended that if people wanted to send him a message or a petition they could send him their guardian angel. Father Dominic, who handled the American mail for Padre Pio, asked him, Padre, a woman wants to know if she sends her guardian angel to you. Does he come? Padre Pio replied, Tell her that her angel is not like she is. Her angel is very obedient, and when she sends him, he comes. Padre Pio lived in close contact with his guardian angel, who taught him to translate letters in French and Greek. The angel would keep Padre Pio up at night so that they could both chant God's praises. Padre Pio's angel would also ease the pain that he suffered from beatings that he received from demons. Padre Pio wrote the following to his spiritual director on November 5, 1912. I cannot tell you the way these the demons beat me. Sometimes I feel I am about to die. On Saturday, it seemed to me that they intended to put an end to me and I did not know what saint to invoke. I turned to my angel, and after he had kept me waiting a while, there he was hovering close to me, singing hymns to the divine majesty in his angelic voice. I rebuked him bitterly for having kept me waiting so long when I had not failed to call him to my assistance. To punish him, I did not want to look him in the face. I wanted to get away, to escape from him, but he poor creature caught up with me almost in tears and held me until I raised my eyes to his face and found him all upset. Then he said, I am always close to you, my beloved young man. One winter, a spiritual daughter of Padre Pio was walking along a country road heavily covered with snow in which it was even difficult to walk to the convent where the good Padre was waiting for her but was uncertain she would reach the convent in time for the appointment. Full of faith, she prayed to her guardian angel to tell Padre Pio she would have arrived at the convent late because of the snow. When she finally reached the convent, she saw Padre Pio smiling, waiting for her behind a window. A woman was sitting in the square of the Church of the Capuchins. The church was closed. It was late and she prayed with the thought and repeated with the heart, Padre Pio, help me. Guardian angel, please go to tell Padre Pio to help me, otherwise my sister will die. From the window above her, Padre Pio's voice came, who is calling me at this time? What is the problem? The woman told him about her sister's illness. Padre Pio went in by location to the sick woman and healed her. Padre Pio wrote a letter dated April 20th, 1915. Often repeat the beautiful prayer, Angel of God, my guardian to whom the goodness of the Heavenly Father entrusts me, enlighten, protect and guide me now and forever. Invoke often this guardian angel and repeat the beautiful prayer, Oh, angel of God. In another incident, Padre Lino Barbati sent his guardian angel to ask Padre Pio for the healing of a person. That person was not getting better. He asked Padre Pio, could it be that at times the guardian angel doesn't do what we ask him to do? And Padre Pio replied, what? Are you thinking that he is disobedient like me and you? One of the spiritual children of Padre Pio said, It seems that Padre Pio always listens to everybody who calls him. One evening, a group of friends arrived at San Giovanni Rotondo. They summarized the graces that they would have asked of Padre Pio, and they asked their guardian angels to bring their request to Padre Pio as soon as possible. 
The next day, after the Holy Mass, Padre Pio reproached them. You do not leave me in peace even at night. Watching Padre Pio smile, they understood their prayer had been accepted. Padre Eusebio once said, I was going to London by plane against Padre Pio's suggestion not to use this mean of transport. When we were flying over the channel, a violent storm put the airplane in danger. Amid the general terror, I prayed and, without knowing what to do, I sent my guardian angel to Padre Pio. When I went back to St. Giovanni Rotondo, I met Padre Pio who said to me, Are you well? Is everything okay? I answered, I thought I'd die. And the saintly Padre responded, Then why don't you obey? I responded, But I have sent you my guardian angel. Padre Pio then said, Fortunately, he arrived just in time. An Italian lawyer named Attilio de Sanctis from Fano was driving back home to Bologna with his wife and two children. During the trip, he fell asleep at the wheel. He woke up a few miles from home. He said, Who drove my car? The wife said, You were still and didn't answer to us, and you avoided several collisions at last second. Your driving was different from usual. Two months later, he visited Padre Pio, who told him from afar, you were asleep and the guardian angel drove your car. The mystery was solved. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. I appreciate it so much for your support and time. If there are any other subjects you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. Until then, thanks so much and God bless you.